Hello stalkers, how are you? So in this video I will show you some of the best animation mods that you can find on mod the b-side. Some of these mods are very easy to install, just a straight drag and drop into your mod organizer too, while some others will need some additional mods. So let's start right away. So the first mod is called Outfit Animations. In an unmodded stalker anomaly, whenever you have the animations enabled option on and you're wearing an outfit, you will see your camera wiggle a little bit just to show that your character is putting an outfit on. Well, with this mod, you can actually see your character put the outfit on every time. It works with any models, but I recommend you to use THAP, which remodels all your first person gloves and sleeves of your outfit. Now the HAP is optional because outfit animations doesn't need any mods to work, just a simple drag and drop into your mod list and you're done. Additionally, outfit animations also add animations for when you are equipping your backpack. This mod will be introduced soon to other mod packs like Gamma. Next mod is food, drug and drink animations. Once you install this mod you cannot play Stalker Anomaly without it anymore. The latest update was for 1.52 almost 2 years ago. There are many other modders which modify this mod to give the animations a bit more love. Also latest update contains a new feature which allows you to see the backpack animations whenever you close or open the inventory. Now I have shown this mod many times but I have to include it in this list as many of the mods that I will show you will use it as a requirement. Another new and exciting mod to have is the headgear animations, which allow your stalker to play an animation every time you wear a mask or a helmet. Each mask or helmet has its own animation model, so it's very immersive mods to have. From the MCM menu you have some options to show whether you have the mask on or off. It also comes with a hotkey so you can quickly take off your mask or helmet. This headgear animation also introduces a new very realistic option which does not allow you to drink or eat or take pills if your mask is on. So if you're looking to add some more immersion and difficulty make sure to get this mod into your mod list. To make this mod work you're gonna need boot drink and drug animations, MCM menu and also the modded exe files. So make sure you read the requirements before you try to install it. 95%. Well stalkers we are halfway through this video so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do a lot of stalker anomaly and gamma guides and I love to test new mods and show them to the stalker anomaly community. Next mod is called armor plate attachments. Now let me explain something. You see in stalker anomaly we have armor plates but they're very unrealistic. They don't get damaged or break and you can equip more than one at the same time. This mod fixes that and it also adds a new cool animation whenever you wear an armor plate. And that's why I included it in this mod list. It adds many types of armor plates in the game and it makes them so that they break after you know a few hits. This mod also introduces other attachment modifications. Unlike COD Modern Warfare 2, you can't have more than one plate attachment at a time, so it's very realistic. 
Now the next mod is the most anticipated, most wanted mod in the Stalker Anomaly community. It's the ledge grabbing mantling mod. This mod will allow you to ledge grab and you can literally go to higher places with this mod. Now I don't mind if they add this to Gamma at all, but knowing me, I'm probably going to try to cheese the game quite a lot using this mod. I've been testing it and I do find it very useful if you're going to make a sniper build. You can really take advantage from it, but I'm going to show you a short clip and you guys write down in the comments and tell me what you think about it. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure what you guys think of this mod, but as you can see, it can give you some advantages for sure. Now, very important, you don't need any mods for this mod to work, but you're gonna need the latest DLTX EXE files that came out this March, as the mod will not work at all. I hope you stalkers found this video useful if you have any questions about these mods write down here in the comments i have a lot more exciting content for stalkers so make sure to subscribe and follow me on youtube bye and thank you for watching and i'll see you next week